Welcome to Accounts and how to enable two-factor authentication video. Today, we're going to learn the difference between users and how to enable two-factor authentication in AMP for Endpoints. Let's say we want to add our colleague Brenda as a new user in the AMP console. She will be in charge of monitoring data from all the computers and make changes to them when required. Well, Brenda will need to be added as an administrator. To accomplish this, we will navigate to the AMP console. Once you're in, go to Accounts, Users, click New User and fill the required fields. The login email will be needed when accessing the AMP console and the notification email is the one that receives all the notifications. Don't forget to check the administrator box and create it. A user as Brenda has full control over the AMP for Endpoints deployment. However, this privilege can be revoked by clicking Revoke Administrator Privilege under Privilege Label. On the other hand, our colleague Nancy can only access to certain information from selected groups and policies. Therefore, she will be added as an unprivileged user without checking the administrator box. As Brenda, she can either receive customized privileges or upgrade to administrator user. Once the users are created, you can enable two-factor authentication. This feature allows you to enforce the authentication by using an external access request. We can achieve this navigating to My Account and in Settings sections, click Manage. You will get a straightforward guide with three steps needed to enable this feature. 1. Download Authenticator which you can obtain for Android or iPhone operating system that can run Google Authenticator. Click Details in any of the cell phones to generate a QR code that will redirect you to the download page. 2. Scan QR code. Generate a QR code that has to be scanned by Google Authenticator. Make sure you do this with some privacy and when you're ready. 3. Enable two-factor authenticator. Open your authenticator app and enter the verification code. Click Enable to finish this process. Once it's done, you'll receive some backup codes that you can use in case you can't access to the AMP console. Click Copy to Clipboard to save them. Thank you for watching Accounts and how to enable two-factor authentication video. See you next time.